Are we shooting? We on? Yeah, we on, bro. Oh. Hello, everybody. I am. Well, hold on. Wait, go back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 45 and a half or 46. Well, I say that because they took down episode 45 because of the conversations that we had about... um, The C word. Yeah. And it ends with a 19. Yeah. Yeah. So, they took it down. So, so yeah. apparently, we, we struck some nerves. Yeah. Yeah. We, we struck some nerves, kicking some real shit. But we're not going to talk about that today. Well, we might a little bit. We will, but it will not be like... We're going to code it. We not. It's not going to be directly. So, yeah. YouTube, please do not... Uh... Take this one down. Right. Because y'all costing me money. Y'all ain't going to reimburse me shit. Right. So, um... Bang. But yeah, you can also, if you want to catch that, if you want to catch episode 45, we was able, we was actually able to put that, the audio version of that on our, uh, Anchor? On, on Anchor. So Anchor, it put it out to everything. So Spotify has it. Um, What's the other shit I got? There's some other platforms on there. I ain't say that's fucked up. And he's saying we, we didn't put shit on, he did it. I'm computer slow. I'm gonna be honest. But we're a team, so I don't I don't like taking credit for shit. So. I don't like taking credit for shit. <laughs> That's like motherfuckers that win a championship that don't get no clock. Your uniform don't even got a drip of sweat on it. I, mean, it was I like, didn't win shit. I was just on the team. That's like Giannis' younger brother, one with the Lakers. You didn't get no clock, nigga. Still won. I, as a man, could you be like, I won the championship? Hell no. In AAU, I was like that. But look, so you talking about AAU? We play for this unified sports team. I right, fuck that shit. We play for the unified sports team. We got goddamn participation trophies. I didn't want that shit. Like, thanks for coming out. We were 0 10. I won. And I was in tremendous shape. I've won so many AAU championships, and probably about a good five of those I didn't play. And I still, but I, I was there. Or if I did play, it was like a minute left. <laughs> but you played. <laughs> but I played. I don't you care. You see what I'm saying? That's like a nigga we went to school with, went to high school with, played on the football team, but he didn't play on the football team. Had the cleanest jerseys I ever seen in my life. Oh. But I'm on the football team. My nigga, you, you been going to practice all summer, and your uniform don't even got a piece of grass on it. Not a grass stain, a piece of grass. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you the nigga name after we get off because I keep getting in trouble on social media, so I got to watch my conduct. Well, to, well, today's episode is pretty much going to be about social media shit. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what, in the sensitivity? Yeah, so like, so like you do know about the Facebook whistleblower? I didn't get a chance to read up on it, but I know some so shit former, going on. Uh, so, let me, I want to make sure I get this correct. But a, a former Facebook employee pretty much gather all information about how Facebook manipulate shit. You know what I'm saying? How they manipulate a lot of shit. Okay. And she had, I'm talking, it's not like she's just talking and it was like just hearsay. Right. But like she was on 60 Minutes just spilling the beans about how Facebook. Oh, she was on 60 Minutes? Yes. She probably won't be alone, bro. So, yeah. So, so she, she's on, she was on 60 Minutes talking about, about, what Facebook does and how they pretty much misrepresent certain things and how they pretty much cause a divide. And when you do speak about the truth, they, you know, they put the band hammer on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, I didn't watch the full episode. I just saw the snippets on TikTok because that's where I'll be at all day. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Be on TikTok. Beefing. I ain't gonna look. I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't beef with anybody. It's just that I just come with pure facts, and well, Ronald McDonald had a problem. She did. Ronald McDonald had a problem. So a little backstory, you know, because you know we always go off the story, but and I said Ronald McDonald because they're here. I don't want no shit. So, you know, on, on TikTok, when you post shit on TikTok, you post it with the intent of being seen. True. Everyone's. Every I'll put it like this. Everybody on TikTok is one video away from going viral. True. Right? Very true. So when you look at it like that, when you look at it with that that thing, 
everybody's making videos with that intent, you are one video away from getting from going viral and being popular. Right. Right. But some people you have they get sensitive when you make when you reply to something that you just don't agree. That's every fucking body nowadays. Yeah, everybody, That's everybody. Everybody's PC, bro. And I just can't I, I refuse to be that way. Yeah. Now, certain topics I'll be lenient on. Like I just know not to have certain type of conversations with, with certain, certain people. people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just not about to sit here. If you you on TikTok and you post a fucking video, you are you are opening up the criticism. You are opening that door up. Opening up that door to be critiqued. Yep. Especially when you post certain shit. Yep. Now, I, certain shit I, I just swipe up. But it, it was just one video that this one chick had. You know what I'm saying? And it was, she she pretty much said like, oh, wait, he cooked and cleaned and I didn't have to do any. Maybe I should suck his dick. And I'm like, hey, hey, ain't you supposed to be doing that already? I mean, why somebody got to do X, Y, and Z to get ABC? That's you know right. what I'm saying? So... I ain't me thinking nothing of it. The, the little bitch replied like, "Bitch is a joke." Like he get that all day, every day. This bitch told me I was gonna be expired. Man like, says you were old. I seen I'm that old, part. And I'm about to expire. When she said that shit, I got nervous because the bitch told me she was gonna put me in a jar last year. I didn't know what the fuck that meant, and I was like, nervous about two I weeks. I was like, "God damn, bitch, you spraying bad juju on the nigga." <laughs> I'm like, "Damn, what the fuck wrong with you?" Like, bitch, you just. Then she called, like, I'm getting clout, clout chasing vibes. Clout chasing vibes? But because you commented. Yeah, I guess she thought that I was just going to be one of them. Then, then, this, 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 then that's when I went in. I, I, and, and I think it was very light. I just said, like, when she brought up my follower account, which, by the way, my follower account has been going up slowly. Ever since she said, ever since she said that shit, yeah. the shit kind of grew a little. But bit. you know what? That's the back when we came. We the same age. We're on the same age. Yeah. When we was coming up, your mama jokes or your mama broke or your daddy blah blah blah. But now it's nigga, you ain't got no followers. That's it. That's With it. your ten followers, had nigga, that's not an insult. That motherfucker said it's not an insult. You got one hundred and forty followers. I like said, that's supposed I said, to you hurt. Know what? Let's check how many followers you got. And I just, I just, then that's when pure logic just comes into play. It comes to logic like, oh, look, I have 140 followers, right? Mm -hmm. Measly 140. Yeah, right. To your 8,000 followers. Yep. Why is my 140 following ass able to strike a nerve with a motherfucker that got 8,000 uh, followers? Just saying. Man, you took you was nice because I was. And I was being. I was being. No, rather, listen. I cause I started to look. You know how many times I had to redo that last video. I, I know you. I because know you. I was. I went on her page like. You started investigating. I started. I said, you know what's crazy? I did the same shit. I said, you know, I'm proud of bro because I seen that hair. <laughs> Only thing I thought about was Ronald McDonald. I, I swear. I swear, man. I swear, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here like, yo. And I kept telling her, like, you you thinking that I'm that I'm getting clout off you, bitch. You're replying, you're replying on my shit. Yep. So people are going to see this shit, and they're going to see that you're interacting. Oh, look, an eight person with eight thousand followers is 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 having a conversation with a person with a hundred and forty followers. But that followers. shit, that shit is irritating, and I'm dog. Just, but I'm just like, and that shit don't bother me. But I'm just like, so you, if we go by your logic, my hundred and forty following ass right. was able to strike a nerve to a person with 8,600 and something followers. Yeah, that's 80, yeah. But she talking shit like she that motherfucker. Yeah. You're not doing shit. I see you with your dude and y'all making goofy ass moving uh, fucking videos or whatever. Y'all not doing nothing. You're not even making no money off this I shit. Don't even, I don't even sweat that shit, bro. So, just of course, when I broke it down to her, like, you you stupid. I Pretty much, you stupid. I struck a nerve. Yep. And it is what it is. Then, of course, she blocked me. Of course, she blocked you and started talking big shit. I bet you she did. That's did what she? they do. Did she? No, I, the, the video that I seen, when I clicked on the shit, I didn't see it. Oh. But I clicked on her page go, and I go, started going through go, her shit. Go on, my, go on my eyes real quick. Go on my page. Look at the video that I stitched. And then you can click on her page. Oh shit. Hey, do you want more followers? 
Yeah. Oh, I just picked up another follower too. I want. I gotta show you this video. I want to post, but I'm scared they're gonna ban nah, me again. We ain't posting no videos from you. We ain't trying to get banned. It ain't even nothing. It's innocent. Yeah. Okay. I swear it's innocent. It's yeah. funny, but it's innocent. But yeah. Anyway, man, stop. Stop letting TikTok uh, like predict your day. Like, just. Yeah, don't do it. This nigga fucking petty as hell. I'm not petty, man. It's just, no, I'm which just, one? Just, no, not that one. That's my new one. We're going to get copyright strike. Cut that off. <laughs> From Napco. Oh, I ain't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> but no, uh, you got to go to it. Which one? <laughs> Give me a minute. I had to turn down the volume. Nigga said, turn it down. I didn't know yeah. what the hell that was. What the hell is this? All right, oh. so all we finding is... Hold on. Oh damn! She removed a video too. I told you. Damn. <laughs> you know I started to be petty. I seen the video. It was her playing with her with her dude, and she like put him in chokehold. Then he kicked her. Then put him in like a bag. Was dragging him. I said, man, I'm about to report this shit and get these motherfuckers in trouble. Damn. That's not like some snitch shit. But I keep getting in trouble for bullshit. Damn. But the shit that I seen was innocent. I, I mean, the shit that I be doing. I ain't know I made a removal of video. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, they probably, probably seen that, probably jumped on the thing. Like, them niggas from Detroit, yes. <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you see it. Detroit against everybody. Versus the world. All it's right. still the thing, baby. So, now that we didn't got... hoes in it. We done pretty much got the... We done pretty much got the whole whistleblower and, you know, out the way, but... Who was she talking about, though? Um, she was talking about pretty much how the hate, like how they pretty much cause divide the, and conquer. Basically, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, but you know what? It do be a lot of fucking weird ass videos popping up all of a sudden. But the same videos you try to put up, they block your ass about thirty days. Mm -hmm. But they have let you put up their people fucking all types, bunch of yeah. So so, Quint, how how unlikely that Facebook and IG and WhatsApp go down? Right. Simultaneously. And it was after that? Yeah. Mm. So then it was playing, but it was cleaning up because that, yeah, yeah, that shit was down about six or seven hours. I didn't even know the shit was down. I'm like, why the fuck I can't even connect to my shit? I'm like, well, maybe the Wi Fi is just bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit was fucked I up. I was like, what? Did it kick you out and make you sign back in? Yeah. Yeah, because when it did that, I said, man, last time it did that, my daughter mom was fucking with my phone. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, man. But I don't think that's what it is. Yeah, no, nah, man. Like that. people was going crazy, yo. Like, Cause they used to. That's 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 people's escape from life. I was at work when the shit was going down, so I I, I had TikTok to. <laughs> I'm addicted to TikTok. I had TikTok, bro. To, to TikTok the shit. I ain't gonna front. It I, is. I had TikTok to to you know buy some time, especially while I was at work. So, I mean, I wasn't really. I didn't, I wasn't really affected by it. God damn it. Hey, yo. I ain't doing that shit. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but, um, no, that one in. But yeah, it was just, like I said, just shit just crazy, bro. Shit is just nuts. That's the way of the world, dog. Um, That's it. I don't know. This life is fucking weird. Even with this... Mm, life is weird. Life is weird. I almost touched that shit. And then motherfuckers forcing shit and then get mad because of the difference of opinion. Like they trying to fry Kyrie ass. I don't know why. I'm talking about they talking about trading him and all types of shit. Say trade he should him. be trading. Trade him. Why the fuck are you gonna trade him for? Because he don't believe in that shit? Because it's his fucking body. Make a choice. Like you got Shaquille O'Neal talking shit. You got fucking uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar kick him out the league and blah, blah, blah. Like, what kind of shit are y'all on? Well, fuck like, shit. these people that I, I said people's, like I'm country and shit. These people that I looked up to growing up. I ain't gonna say idolize, because I idolized my uncle and them. They bro. all on some fuck shit, bro. You know, I know what time it is, but we gotta tread lightly. Because I don't want to do, we shot that last one for about an hour and a half, and then they snatched that bitch after a couple hours. Man. It's all good. I got I to gotta go through and scrub through some wording. That's some bullshit. But everybody else talking about the same shit. So if I was saying, hey, you need to go ahead and do it, yada, 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 y'all accept that shit. But because I'm not for that shit, you got a fucking issue with it. Like, yeah, on, man. man. That's bullshit. Yeah, I just figured. Should be allowed to have your own fucking um, goddamn, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say.
opinion. Thank you. I couldn't get that shit out for nothing because I was trying not to yawn. Because you did that shit like five times trying to hold it in. I don't know why I wasn't yawning all day until I sat in this goddamn chair. That's what it is. These bitches come from. The only thing you're missing is an ice cold something. Some brew. Yep, and a nice tit for the left hand. Tit. Oh, I'm going to go upstairs for that. I like boobies. I like ass too. Not too much. Not too much titty either. I almost died from that. I was supposed to talk about that too, huh? Yeah, let's not. Okay, you right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, um, what else I got? So I read this Bloomberg, um, well, no, Squid Games. Did you watch Squid Games? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, my God. You probably seen motherfuckers doing little videos and shit on, uh, TikTok. on TikTok. I haven't seen all TikTok. You got to watch it, bro. God damn it. I do get right. <laughs> no, nah, so they um Squid Game is pretty much about you know a lot of people you know they you know they got gambling problems pretty much so they like heavy in debt. Okay. So I guess a person found them. You know what I'm saying? They gather all these people up who who got like. Who owe like massive debt, right? They okay. owe like millions of dollars in debt, right. like gambling and shit, loan sharks and shit, right? Okay. So they have to play this game. They're all instructed to play the game, right? You play the game. Sounds like some saw shit. If you win, you win the money. Okay. Right. But when you get eliminated, <laughs> I damn. <laughs> but when you get eliminated, when you get eliminated, you don't just be like, "Oh, I'm out. I'll wait till the next." No, you die. Oh yeah. So it's like saw. I guess. Jigsaw. It reminded me. It, it, it gave me um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory vibes. So you know how every time, like every stage on on Willy Wonka, the, the original one. Mm-hmm. Where every time, like, a kid did something, then they get taken away. Like, doobie doo, doobie doo, hoopa, <laughs> yeah. Hoopa, hoopa, yeah, so they take them, right? <laughs> they take, <laughs> so they take them, and then you don't know where they at. Then they get down to the last person, and then he wins, right? Right. So that's that's what I got out of it. I got pretty much the, the fucking Willy Walker chocolate factory shit out of it. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, this is goddamn coffee, boy. Yeah, all right, let me sit up. So, so what they did was instead of like the first game was a red light, green light. Okay. So, red light, green light. Right. You're like, red light, and you had to stay still. Green light, right. you run. She say red light, and you still moving, you got shot. Damn. Damn. Oh my god! I know this is spoiler alert, but I don't care. This shit was—I just want to talk about it. I'm talking. They had so many dead. Then they did tug of war. They did like. So they basically had the goddamn games we used to play. It was like motherfucking. It was like fucking gladiator, but using regular ass games and shit. But motherfuckers were really dying, bro. Huh. I was like, damn. And then the winner got like millions, like billions of dollars. Each person that died was was worth like a million. A million won. So, so they paid their damn debt off. So like when they first, like when they first did the, uh, when they first did the, um, the first game, red light, green light, the rule was, everybody, God damn it, everybody can. Uh, <laughs> they gonna be like these niggas tired. Right. right. Well, maybe I hey, listen. I got the medicine next time. I know what it is. Right. So so like they said. So the only rule was if everyone, if everyone agrees, they can stop playing. Okay. So after the game, they said, "All right, well, since y'all want to stop playing, um, the winnings from that last game will go to the death to the families of the people who got killed." It was like twenty million or some shit like that. It was a lot of money on the line, but but then they called them back and then they had them play again. Right. Then they had different games. I'm talking that shit was grimy, dog. I keep hearing about that shit. Yeah, you need to watch it, dog. Watch it. It's like nine episodes. Watching, um... It's like nine episodes. What's the name of that fucking show? It was like a series. They had like seven, eight episodes. This show was good as hell, too. Man, watch that shit, bro. Netflix. Um, damn, what's the name of that shit? I don't, I don't really watch Netflix like that. Netflix the shit. 
Yeah, okay. It's a Hulu for me. Um, while we talking about shows, did you watch the fucking BET Hip Hop Awards? No. I don't. I don't watch that boot. That that ignorant stuff. It's not even ignorant. That shit's so watered down. I didn't know who the fuck these people was until they brought up some older folks. They had a um. They honored Nelly and um and Jermaine Dupri. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't watch that shit. So. Oh, I, I, I watched it for material. No, nope. but they got a couple. Um, the LGBTQ community was very well represented. It's always represented. This dude was rapping his ass. I mean, I don't know what you identify him as, but this, he was, he, it was a dude. But I don't know how that shit go. But he was rapping his ass off. Okay, and it just caught me off guard. Oh. And it's just, it ain't the way it is. And they supposed to be, Big Tigger supposed to be coming back doing the uh, rap scene in the basement shit. But I'll pass on that. It's going to be watered down. All that shit watered down. And I don't think, what's now? I think white folks own the company now. I think they, they sold do. that shit. They yeah. do. So, I so you going to bring Rap City in the basement back? You going to have a mumble rapper down there trying to freestyle? No. Uh, and that's another thing. They had the motherfucking uh, Decipher. And I'm like this the whole time. Nigga, I don't need wear glasses. I'm squinting the whole time. And you ever seen the motherfucker that wear glasses? They be squinting and then they lean in and try to hear? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Yeah, that shit. I don't know trash what that was. Man, that shit was. Man, I love music. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The first chick they had, she was off beat. And I know that's the thing, but she didn't even make fucking sense. <laughs> she didn't. Because she was rapping, you know, D Smoke. Ever heard of him? Out of California, I think Compton, I believe. He won. Or Inglewood, yep. He, he won at that. In 2019. Uh, yeah, that, uh, Netflix joint. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was in the rap and he went last, thank God, because he saved it. I don't know what one dude, I forgot dog name, but he was straight too. But them first couple motherfuckers had you scratching your head like, hey man, maybe I can do this shit too. Just give me a beat. And that's what the fuck is going on. Let's follow, follow the dum dum. Because mm. damn sure ain't no fucking leaders. Man, motherfuckers can't rap. And then Meg Thee Stallion uh, won Lyricist of the Year. How? How? She won Lyricist of the Year. How? I don't know. You see where I'm going with this, right? And and she can rap her ass off. She can rap. I give her that, and she's sexy as hell. I climb shit out that tree. Yeah, she has some nice boobs too. She has, she's pretty, all out pretty, naturally pretty too. But she won lyricist of the year, and I forgot she went up against a couple people. It's up in the air, but yeah, we yeah, you gotta watch it. No, I I, I won't. The fact that she won lyricist of the year, that that tells me everything. I, I don't get me wrong, she can rap, but yeah, cause you know Saigon. Yeah. You know what that is? And he did an interview with, with the other dude. The dude that, that should have got fucking, uh, that should have got canceled, but he didn't get canceled probably because of how he looked. I'd rather not say it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he did an interview with him, and they was talking about the shit or whatever. So, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, lyricist of the year. She can rap, though. No knock on her, but. I just don't think ly- lyrics is of the year. But then again... How, I want to know how did they how did they come to a vote on that? That's what I want to know. Like how did how did they come to a vote? Like to be like, just give it to Megan. I think it's a motherfucker popularity contest because motherfuckers ain't really lyrical. The motherfuckers that's lyrical they don't even pay attention to no more. Hmm. And shit, what's his name was out. He could have won goddamn lyricist of the year. A little baby, he be rapping his ass off. He next up too. That's if he don't get his ass canceled. Who, Lil Baby? Not yeah. the baby, Lil Baby. Oh, 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 Lil Baby. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, Lil Baby. That nigga be rapping his ass off. That should make you want to sell some. But you understand what he's saying, though. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> he got a song with Kurt Franklin. Yeah, I know. He got a Kurt. He got a song with, 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 with gospel's version of P yeah, Diddy. Yeah, laughing on this one. one <laughs> it's P Diddy. He's like, y'all can get off my dick, dog. I said, who said that? 
<laughs> Little baby. baby. Uh, Come get off my dick, dog. That sound like Michael Jackson, dog. I'm like, what the fuck? Man, what the hell? This might be a short episode. Why, well, you sleepy? No, nah, because I, I, I've i talked about almost everything except for the the last thing. I'll be no short episode. Just over here talking shit. Um, Let's see. Yeah. But no, um, Bloomingberg News. I got the link for this one. I can pull it up. So Bloomingberg has came up with a, they've came up and said that remote work has been, um, uh, Why are you doing that? Uh, yeah, it says remote work has vastly improved the black worker experience. So a lot of people who work at home, you know, you know, African Americans, you know, their, their work life, work experience has been, been rather pleasant. Well, yeah, they're not at work. Yeah, and they got to they ain't got to deal with people. They, they you know, they ain't got to deal with people. Ignorant people. No. People. I did listen. At my job, it ain't just and one. And who do you deal with? Who you got a problem with up there? Niggas. Oh, the one dude? Yeah. He's he racist. Yeah, right. But he gone. That don't even count. But most of my shit then came because of goddamn females and it's been from people that look like me. But not act like me, but you no, know, niggas that suckers. It is what it is. Yeah, they say a survey of more than 10,000 people saw a 26% um, point increase in black respondents reporting I am treated fairly at work from a year ago. And similarly, big jumps in other questions about their work lives. Overall, black workers in the U.S. said their job experience was steadily improving while responses plateaued among the racial groups in the most recent survey. So apparently, white people ain't fucking up their day. Yeah, I said it. Okay. I didn't say the C word. Yeah. No, well, I wouldn't say that anyway. No, I had I, somebody had oh, asked me. Oh man, they gotta gotta bring this up, bro. I worked in corporate, bro. Oh shit. I worked in corporate, bro. And it's always that one person, bro, that be at work that, that bullshit. would just wanna like if shit don't go their way, they will fuck shit up. That's dog. The motherfucker I was into it with for the past couple years. I'm just saying, like, I'll get you. It's some, it's man, it's every race got a dickhead or two. Every fucking race at work, yeah. Black people just want to go to work, get their paper, and go. You'll home. be surprised if you know where I'm at. And it's a big you come in that bitch, you'll be like, I can't believe this shit. It's high school, I'm not even high school, middle school. These motherfuckers piss all over the damn toilet. I done went in the bathroom, there was shit on the damn toilet, not a piece of shit, a pile of shit on the back part of the toilet, like where you flush at. But how the fuck do you do that? A pile of shit. Niggas is, uh... Took a shit. A pile of shit. They, they squatting over it. That shit. You, man, you crazy man, as hell. Man, if you don't clean that damn toilet and mummify that motherfucker. Man, listen. Look, motherfuckers being that bitch tripping. But, but then again, I've heard stories about people working in the... Uh, Factories, plants, whatever. I used to have to go to one of the factories when I was IT. Oh, yeah. you know then. No, I didn't get a I didn't get a taste of how it is at you know sure. the big three, but for the supplier that I worked at, like I, I got a glimpse of what it was like. I actually liked what it was out there. Damn, I meant to do that. Shit, I'm about to open this shit up as soon as we get. What's the name? I have lost me. <laughs> <laughs> shit, the fuck. Right, but nah. But no, man, I, I, I feel like when you working you working in that type of environment, you know, white people always tend to um they tend to make your work life hard, bro. Man, you know what it is? I think a lot of people bring their home life to work. They do. And a lot of motherfuckers take their work life home. And that's what causes shit. Cause I deal with the shit every fucking day. I didn't had to, I didn't check out on motherfuckers because so I done got older so now. If if Karen didn't make Jim any fucking food, you're gonna hear it. Of course. Nigga, if the motherfucking lions lost, you can tell. Yeah. It'd be real quiet. But I'm just saying. Like you you can tell people they, they let people like depict their day. So like like yep. I've learned that when I went through my divorce is that the only thing I'm not going to do is to let this fuck my bag up. Yeah, I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to let nothing fuck your money up. 
Yeah. And then people, oh, my day, my day, my day. It don't be your day got fucked up. It's moments out the fucking day. You can't let one one moment define the rest of your I fucking tell, day. I tell one of my employees that shit, like, like, you know, I'm just having a bad day or, you know, something outside of work. It's like, I'm not about to, like, like look, just because you're having a bad day does not mean you come in here and you got to show it that you're having a bad day. I was like, you can't do that. Yep. I'm like, just because, like, and I, and I and I hate to be that guy, but, like, I'm I'm that type of guy is I don't give a fuck if you're on your period. That's not being that guy. That's That shit goes hand in hand with you having a fucking bad day. Yeah. Like, even if you, man, I'll be at work. My motherfucking sinuses be fucked up. I don't let that shit. I'm not about to be acting funny yeah, with be nobody because of some shit. You'd be surprised. When I first when I first took over that store, bro, I had so many women. Oh, I, I you know, my period. Oh, oh, I can't come to work because my period. No, they make that make that uh, fucking excuse. And I was, and and one time I just told I just told somebody no, I I don't care. Like I really don't. Like I get it. But you a grown ass woman, and if your shit that bad, you need to go get a doctor's note. Yeah, I'm like, but until then, I I really do, I I really do not care. But they got some females that will not come in, and I get it. Okay, well, get I a understand. get a doctor's note. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you supposed to be at work. Yeah, I'm sorry. What I look like calling in, I can't come to work because my balls is blue and they haven't been depleted. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, what? I'm just saying, dog. I'm just being honest, bro. No, I feel you. It just, it's just sick crazy. I'm bro. I'm it's just crazy. I'm just, I'm just raw, bro. Like it's just certain there things. Ain't nothing wrong like, with I'm just it. saying. I, just, oh, I wake shit. up like, man, my balls hurting, bro. I don't even really feel like, like my girl don't want to fuck me. Fuck it. I ain't going to work. Fuck the whole you know, money you, up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck no, the that's whole money up. That's it. Yeah, you know, I feel you. That same logic. I feel you. Like, damn, my balls hurt, bro. I can't. And if you ain't never had blue balls, I don't know. Like, and, and, and look, and you you can get blue balls and you still get some pussy. That should hurt. Yeah, that's the worst. That should hurt like a motherfucker. Nigga, I once I nigga, once I was in pain one time from having blue balls. I was worried. Like, hold on, this shit ain't supposed to feel like this. Yeah. That shit hurt. Nah, embarrassing was to show the doctor my balls. Like, look. The brain. <laughs> shit, man. Ain't not dropping. <laughs> right, that shit hurt, dog. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that shit on nobody. Ain't nothing worse than going on a dry run. It's not even that. It's just that, like, you know, because, you know, like, your balls can get tangled. Like, we, we ain't about to be talking about balls all day. But I'm just saying, it's just, uh, you know, your the... Stringy thingy. The stringy, the, they, it can get I don't tangled. know what they call that shit. I call it the stringy thingy. That's the shit that hurt. That that pain that shoot up to you down. Yeah. yeah. No, that 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 shit can get tangled. Like your walls can get tangled to each other. The fuck that happen. And they, it, I mean, I mean, you got some big balls. I mean, they they can get tangled, bro. So I'm pretty sure them old. I know somebody. I know somebody that it happened to him. I'm not even gonna time out. That's he had to, he had to get surgery. Nigga, nigga, nigga had to get surgery to get that shit untwisted, and then you think they told the motherfucker, uh, "You need to just lay in the bed for three days." This nigga was at a fighting game tournament. Like, what's up? I'm like, nigga, eyes blush out red. Like, nigga, <laughs> why are you here? Nigga holding that pain. Like, nigga, you just had your balls operated on, nigga. Yo, that I never heard that shit before in my life. Nah, nigga, nigga really had his shit. Yeah, yeah, nigga, your balls, that little... Nah, I can see them old-ass motherfuckers. Because, you know, after a while, they should start dangling like goddamn uh, damn dog titties after they didn't have puppies. Oh, I'm glad I'm not at that point. No, we ain't gonna be at that point. But... I hope not. I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a snip, bro. But, but probably, probably, because... We had a discussion a while ago, and you said your 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 pull up game is trash. It is. You probably want to do that. This is. <laughs> you probably want to do that. My anniversary is next week too. Oh, uh, shit! No, it ain't next week. It's 
two weeks from now. Yeah, it's like two weeks from now. I don't know, bro. I'm thinking about playing it close. I don't know, bro. You want another kid? I might get might get drunk and nasty, bro. Do you want another kid? Nah, not really, but I mean. Not really. It's either yes or no. I don't know. Trying to get that boy? Yeah. You 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 about to you about to play Russian roulette? I feel it in my bones. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Hey, I say you, you try to have another one. That nigga says spin move. Uh, I don't know. Then say yeah, no, not I yes, think, not I think, really. I think we're done. We're we're done. I think we're done. If I get a million dollars, then you know, then that conversation that conversation will for sure change. See, if y'all help us, this nigga have another baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, hell, I, I might have another one. Shit. I don't have another one. The girl keep talking about, I don't know. All it takes is one night. Hell yeah. Well, fuck that, huh, man? Shit, it's bad enough. I can't do shit. Bruh, All these damn kids I, schedule. Bro, I took two edibles yesterday. Oh, Jesus. Two of them? Cookies? No, I had the gummies. Okay, the gummies small. Shit. Not the ones I got. Got the fucking rings, nigga. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they come in a little, what's the name, a little pouch? Bro. Because one just don't do it. Like, it do, but then it just be like. It take a while. It be like, eh. And but I be like. But them start hitting hard as hell, it though. It do, but whenever I take two, it's More like. Faster. Man, so the first two, <laughs> man. So the, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm going to look like this. It. This was the first time where I actually rolled the shit out and dealt with it instead of just saying, fuck it, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> instead of just falling asleep. Oh, shit. Nah, I ain't up, uh, I got into a, a calm argument with my wife. A calm argument? Well, you know, when you high, you just be like, man. And I just feel like you don't do this. That's a calm argument. Yeah, she and she. And I'm like, I'm not even arguing. I'm just having a conversation with you. <laughs> that you know, that's that. And weird. I think she knew I was high. <laughs> she was like, you always talk this shit whenever you under the influence of weed or you drunk. I'm like, but would you rather me be like that or be upset doing it? I'm, I'm like, calm right now. I'm like I'm calm, so at least you should at least know, like, hey, this. Right. Tell like this is how I feel. You know, I think I think she knew at that point I was high. Yeah. I think she knew, and I think it. Was, and Cause that high, that that high intelligent kick in, boy, you get to oh, and, kicking some shit, start look, thinking about shit. And, look, and she knew she was fucked up, cause I just ah, 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 cut off every motherfucking avenue where she tried to go. Yeah. Like, no, that's not true. Right, the detour. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I think she, I think she, it's like a love hate thing with like me when I ever I take an edible and she around, she's like. Right. Because she don't know what's going to happen because I'm either going to be laid back or I'm going to be fucking Dave Chappelle in this bitch. Speaking of Dave Chappelle. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about that, too, bro. I ain't even watched it yet. I you gotta, haven't? I got to watch it. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Yeah, we'll talk watch about it. that. We'll talk about that next because week. Because. I know. I saw the clip, but I'm just saying. I, listen, when you watch it, you understand what I'm saying. I said, nigga. Oh, I, I, I'll, I'll watch it You tonight. have to watch it. I'll watch it tonight. But uh, and we, watch it on. You don't even need to watch it under the influence. I ain't gonna. I'll never. I only only Dave Chappelle thing that I watch under the influence is half baked. You have to. You can't watch. I'm that watching sober. that shit tonight. You have you, to watch you, that you shit. Gotta, high. You gotta watch that shit high. It's more. It's more funnier. It's Samson and Sheila. <laughs> Samson, this is Sheila. Mama, sick. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Why you tell Mr. Nice Guy to get his ass off here? He said, uh, uh -huh. he said, doctor said I need a back yellow mate. Oh, my God. He said, God. I'm after this man. Get away from me, bitch. Because you don't want to be get ugly. Shit. Shit. That shit fun. No, he was funny as hell. Clarence, uh, I forgot his last name. He's funny as hell. Is he still alive? No, I think he passed last year. Oh, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think he passed last year. And he told that motherfucker in uh, Tales from the Hood, Welcome he said, to the Terror Dome. Oh, no, he said, Oh, don't worry. You gonna get the shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, Welcome to hell. No, he said, No, and he kept asking me, What is shit? He said, Oh, don't worry. Yeah. 
you gonna get the shit. No, my dumb ass said, welcome to the Terra Dome. I'm thinking about CB4. The nigga with the throw. He said, welcome to the Terra Dome, bitch. Terra Dome, bitch. This is hilarious. Bro. Yeah, that, that's, that's Chappelle, man. He, yeah, straightforward. Hey, but, He's a goat. But, but peep game, though. I just want to put this out. This is for my photography business real quick. I got two, two things that I got cooked up, and I'm waiting for them to come. I've already submitted my order to get it made. Y'all better buy this shit, all right? Shit wasn't cheap. <laughs> so, I can't tell you right now. It's Damn. Just, just a secret. But what you tell me, and, and anticipation was building up. I'm like, nigga, what's up? I just can't. I just don't want to say nothing right now. Okay, until, don't until say I nothing. I actually got the shit in my hand. Gotcha. But just know that I got some... It's a reason why I posted those two photos on my Facebook. That shit was cold. And I and I like both of them. I like the one without the color. Yeah. Then I like the one with the color. So somebody literally DM'd me and they wanted to buy that photo from me just so they can sell stuff off of it. I said, I can't sell it to you, but I can license it out to you. That way you have to pay me for a license every year you use it. He's just talking about that shit too. Yeah. Just talking about that shit. That picture cold as hell. Do you know what you should do? What? Put that bitch on the shirt. Um, I already, that's already in the works. I already, I'm already thinking about that. But right now, this thing that I'm about to do with them two photos, mm -hmm. it was originally supposed to be one, but then when I started seeing people liking the opposite, everybody yep. started liking the top one. Yep. I was like, well, fuck it, let me make this one too. So both of them bitches will be here. They'll be here, um... Uh -oh. Well, this is what happens when you want to fuck around and not do your homework. Oh, she can't get on my my girl like that. Fuck that. She oh. can get her grades up. Damn, man. Nah, she think everything a game, man. Oh, oh man. Brooklyn. She be all right. Damn. Oh. But no, nah, um, that's all I want to post about that. That's the baby. No, that's that's her. That's the oldest. She's just mad because she probably took something away from her ass. Oh, shit. All right, man. So what you got, man? Okay. So uh, in other news, my best friend, which is my oldest, my son, he'll be nine uh, on Saturday. So well, let's go back to last week. So they had spirit week at a school and shit. Mm -hmm. So a little boy at, that's in, you know, in Coda class, his mom texts the teacher and shit. Oh, shit. That's my grandma calling. I'm gonna call her back. She wants something. I'm gonna have to call her back. But the, she called the um we got in touch with the teacher and the teacher texts my daughter mama. Like, uh, whatever little boy name is, wanna dress like my daughter. Yeah. Uh, uh, and what? Yeah, you hear see, you have daughters, so you know where I'm at. So when she said the shit, she laughing and shit. Nigga, I got mad than a motherfucker, like I'm about to send my baby off to prom. My daughter only four, and I'm ready to fight. I'm gonna fuck all this little nigga is. So wait, 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 wait. Wanted to dress like my baby. Yeah, hold on. Wanted to dress like my baby. Now I got a double standard story in here too, which people probably gonna talk shit, but it is what it is. But the the mama end up getting the shirt, so they dress it like that's cool shirt shit. It's innocent. Nigga Ronte tells me yesterday he got a a note from a chick in his class. And he fell in there or whatever. I can't say the little girl name, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But end up getting note and shit. He showed me a motherfucking note. And it goes as this. Like on the inside, I'm like, hell yeah. But I'm like, I can't be like that because I was like that with my baby girl. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Double standard shit. But the code only four. She only four. And this was the note that the little girl gave Ronte. Funny as hell. I got to post the shit. What grade is he in? He's in fourth. I like you so, so, so much. Mm -hmm. Will you be my boyfriend? Damn. Yeah. She did. Hey, props on the old school. Writing yes. it down. Yeah. With the circle, yes, no. I'm about to put that shit on there. What you know what I'm saying? Can you see that? No. Oh, but... Wrong shit. Oh, there's a glare. Oh, fuck it. You, you get the concept. God no, that's you. what's up, though. I, I, I appreciate the old school effort. Yeah. I so what'd he say? 
Who? He said, I don't, I don't know. When we talked earlier, he said, I'm just thinking about my Robux card. I'm like, dog, I got you tomorrow, my nigga. Relax. That's my back. I know it's your birthday week. But he said he liked the girl. Do Roblox too? He love that shit. Man, my other kids do that shit. Love that shit. That they shit. tried to man. They tried to finesse me out of ten dollars. I'm like, man, I'm not. At least it's only ten. Nah, the shit. ones that they want. I was like, I'm just like, can you get us a thirty dollar Roblox card? I'm like, thirty dollars. <laughs> but then again, but then again, my hear my ass complain about Roblox cards, but I I buy I buy add ons on fucking two K. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so. I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, man, I just, I'm so mad, nigga. I didn't spend a bunch of money. I'm just saying. So I mean, so what you gonna, what you gonna, what you gonna tell him to do? I mean, he, he, he. I ain't gonna say he old, but I didn't had not necessarily a leash on my son, but I, he spoiled the shit, and that's my firstborn. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do about about them with the with this girlfriend thing? Like, you just this is, this is a teachable moment. I mean, I'm, I'm, that's a good question. I mean, I'm going to talk to him, of course, and see what he want to do. Because he said he like her, but I'm just happy that he fucking like girls. Not about to go into goddamn detail. Caught dog watching Pornhub and shit last year. Well, okay. I didn't catch him. The nigga got caught by his mama. She went through so? his history and shit. No, I have no problem with that. But the mama, he lied on me. So his mama like, where you get that from? My daddy. And I had to think about the shit. I'm like, damn. I ain't never exposed this little nigga to a Pornhub. Then I looked at my phone history and got certain shit and then Pornhub. And I was like, fuck. That's how he seen it. But I thought about it. Like, he, ain't, he got his own fucking phone. So you done lied on me. You got caught. Yeah, I watch Pornhub. I watch my own videos, too. <laughs> anyway. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, buddy. So, um, no, no, I'm going to talk to him. See what you want to do. Make sure the girl is... It's up to speed, but he already said it's a girl. Her ass crack be showing in the class, and she be musty. So as long it's as it's the same know the one, fuck no, oh. <laughs> fuck no, <laughs> fuck no, no, no. So I'm she be musty. Like, Damn, bro, the but, musky, the musty face. Yeah, dusty musties. <laughs> dusty but I had to musty, tell him, bro. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say that like, you, you're privileged, you're spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't grow up like I grew up. We grew up, nigga. We always seen people smell like piss. Like, back alley pee. If you don't know what back alley pee is, you didn't grow up in the hood. Yeah. Everybody know what back alley pee. In the summertime, like that shit's spicy as hell. It's like everybody's piss mixed together. On Man, the right. Coke 45, malt yeah. liquor pee. Yeah. But, or mattress piss, whatever. Oh, that, that smell like syrup. Nigga. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That you got kids with matted hair and all types of shit. You don't come from that. You ain't never got to deal with that shit. So I taught them that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still teaching. Yeah, and nah, I still, and yeah, I got to nah. teach them. Like not the way that I was brought up, cause my, my father at the time. I, I, I said at teach, the time. But. I just, I just teach my kids to just be grateful. Yeah, you have to. That's that's it. That's all you can have do. to. Cause and, that's, I, and I explained to, I explained to that one up there. Like, look, you don't want to be in the in the situation, you know. I grew up in. Yeah, I mean, mine is. I can say that was I a little privileged, a little bit. I was grateful to have. Both my parents in my life, yep. but they weren't together. But you have both of them. But I That's have rare. both of them. Yeah. And you, not even that, my nigga. You knew them. A lot of niggas don't know their daddy. Yeah. I grew up with niggas that don't even know what the fuck their daddy look like. Yeah, so it's like. And their mama was hoes. I got, oh, I got, I got to see, you know, I got to see, <coughs> you know, you know, what it's like to be around like grown ass, grown ass men, you know, that's actually doing shit. Right. But then when like when more and more I think about it. Like damn, like, like our parents really had us around crackheads, dog, and we're not, and not, not even knowing, dog. Yeah, I don't really care for crackheads no more. The motherfuckers put me out of business. Oh, uh -uh. I'm just saying. Bitches, they put me out of business. No, I'm just. I mean, they cut, they cut my ass out. Cause they took, they wiped me out. How? Nigga, I, nigga, growing up in Brightmo, you know, I had to hustle. I wasn't selling dope. I was raking, cutting grass, all that shit. Oh, they had when you charging a certain nigga, when mm -hmm. you charging next to nothing prices, now I do shit. When a little young nigga charged me twenty dollars, I do it for three. When you go to cut grass, grass already cut. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, little Don Don doing it. You see Don Don as he got on Mitch Mac shoes, dirty as hell, mouth white. Like you know what? I'm not about to fight you because I already know what's gonna happen. You you ain't you you ain't gonna beat up no crackers. Hell no, I'm not no better. 
Thank I seen the crackhead getting worked on Finkel and Bramble by three or four niggas. He was about 6'5". They was beating the shit out of him. Back alley beating. Where the nigga had his hands behind his back. And he, that nigga was about, he had to be about 100 pounds. Yeah. About Captain Durant size. They was firing his ass up. And you can hear the punches echoing off his body. Man, that nigga broke loose. My son, I can't make this shit up, dog. Nigga broke loose. He didn't even look out for traffic. I don't know how the fuck he didn't get hit it by a car. But you know fucking, uh, not Bramble, um, Beaverly and Finkel. So you got the gas station on this side, had a liquor store like right across the street from that, then the uh, Metro PCS store across the street from the what's the name? You talking right near Grand River? It's before Grand River. It's Finkel. Down the street from, um, what's that damn middle school, that badass middle school everybody went to? Murphy? Yes. Down oh. the street from there. I didn't go there. Me neither. I'm, I'm, I'm sending my ass out of town. Yeah. And then I came back and I, ended up going to another school. I was I was lucky enough to not have gone to that school. Yeah, that school was bad. Because I've I've heard stories of how bad Murphy was. Yeah, me too. I heard stories. And I think that's probably why I got into so many fights is because I didn't go to Murphy. Right. So people didn't know me. Like I like as soon as I got out of eighth grade, mm -hmm. I just moved over into Brightmore. Okay. So like where are you come from? I used to stay on West Chicago and uh in Cheyenne. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So. That's funny. That's down the street from Dog Barbershop. Uh, that's okay. it, right on the corner. Nigga, when we went to school with, he was cool. And then he did some shady shit, so I can't fuck with him. He's in the slow wing, though. Yeah, but no. There ain't like, got nothing to do with nothing, but fuck it. But no, like I'm saying, um, it's, um, you know what I'm saying? So I had to I had to adjust. My adjustment was, was really... It was really, it was really, it was really a big adjustment. I went from a school that was small, mm -hmm. a small eighth grade and graduating class, to your regular. You know, they'd be like everybody's graduating. I had like one class that was like thirty six people who graduated. Okay. Versus motherfuckers, hundreds of graduations that happens that day. You know what I'm saying? So. I didn't get to have that big graduation. So then you put me used to be in these small ass classes. Right. And I go to Refford of all schools. Yep. <sighs> with a bunch of different motherfuckers too. I, Some of them people are cool. Some of them people I'm still cool with to this day. Some of them motherfuckers I don't give a fuck about talking to ever in life. Especially yeah. the motherfuckers that thought they was better than every fucking body. Nah, them, it them, like them, them the people who I really want to see if they really doing good, and it only, it's only a, a a certain handful of people who I know, but they wasn't they was real humble, but they had it all. You know what I'm saying? And they're still doing good, but you know those people in there that just felt like they had everything. This is one nigga we went to school with. I never had a problem with, but the way he presented himself, like he would try to. I ain't gonna say he tried to shit on people, but the way he carried himself, like he felt like he was better than motherfuckers. Ended up seeing a nigga some years ago working at the hamburger spot. Sonny's. I mean, you don't, you don't know, you. I, I look at it like this. You, Certain shit you don't fucking do, because you don't expect to see motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not the one to make fun of people. I didn't sport, make fun. But I'm just saying. But when you see, but when you see. Like that, it, like that verse, damn homie. Yes. <laughs> in high school, perfect. You was the man, perfect. Homie. What the fuck happened, happened to you? you? That's like, perfect. <laughs> and that's how I was. I walked in there like, man, I'm about to give me a cup of him. What the fuck is he doing here? Yeah. Left it alone. Didn't say nothing. I never had a problem with dog, but I, just the way I he be, carried I, himself. Fuck that. I be wanting to know like, what happened, bro. Like, why you working here, bro? One little nigga. But see, leave. I don't be. I, but see, I wouldn't ask with me being a dickhead about it it's just me asking to be like like no legit like what's been up like like you should know like i'll be i'll be wondering like whenever i run into people in high school mm. and when they see where i work at and they think that i'm not what i'm not mm -hmm. and then when i tell them my role my actual oh that oh yeah i'll be like oh yeah. yeah yeah but it should be but my thing is see you was always a humble motherfucker Always a humble nigga. I ain't never tried to shit on nobody and none of that shit. So we should be in the clear. It's the motherfucker that was walking around with the, you know what I'm saying, the latest and greatest and just talking shit about motherfuckers. Like me, I had a job. I was just cheap. Them motherfuckers was just getting funded by granny. Yeah, because they mama was one shit. Yeah. 
I'm out there selling pussy. Well, I said it. We 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 don't know that. But if you do, do you know from experience? Hell no, I ain't never paid for no coochie in my life. Me neither, but I had investors that did it. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. I mean, what's wrong with that? I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I ain't paying for no fuck all that. I ain't paying I mean, for when you really shit. think about it, you still paying for it. Investing. I had this I had this argument with somebody else. Well, this debate with somebody else. Like, nigga, you don't pay for pussy. Well, no, I haven't. Well, nigga, I'm telling you, blah, blah, blah. Ain't nobody trying to hear it. No, you paid for it. I didn't. I'm funny. You pay for it in any, in, you pay for it no matter what. Shit. I ain't never paid for no coochie. You took a bitch out? What you mean? Out to what? You took a bitch out to eat? To the room? Took a bitch out to eat? Yeah. You pay for it? Sometimes. No, did you pay for it? Yeah. You want to go bowling? Want to go to the movies? That's investment. No, it ain't. What is it? You pay for it. You pay for what? You pay. You paid for the advance. The, each money that you spent, you just paying for the closer go to, for you to get some ass. I wasn't even, that wasn't even my intent. Mm, okay. For real. But you still got it though, right? No, a one girl do you think I went. You, do you think you would have got the ass if had you not would have took them out and got them something to eat? Yeah, you know what I mean, f- nigga. Are you funny? Right, I am. Are you, you're naturally funny, correct? Yeah, I am. Plug. So am I, right? I have never in my lifetime walked up to a female and did the typical introduction. Shit I've that never, mean. I've never done that. Okay, so how did you get your vagina? Because you're funny, correct? I'm, I'm just me. I, I actually. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, like how how I ended up getting married, well, how I ended up me and my wife got together, she slid in my DM, took me out. I'm, I'm just saying. Hey. And and my daughter's mom, me, me, we ain't together, but I don't know. But yeah, they, these they these motherfuckers together. We ain't. We're not. I know she watched this shit. We not together. I mean, I yeah, don't you know. See this nigga face, he's twitching like she gonna see this shit. No, I ain't tripping. I mean, we ain't got no title. That's still, I don't know, man. If it's, yeah, okay. whatever's gonna happen, you, gonna you happen. Go, you going home smash? Huh? Huh? No. Oh, okay. Not today. Yeah. You... Oh, not today. No, no. Oh. No. Snake yeah, dick, right. Yeah. Life is complicated, man. This relationship shit's so weird. It is weird, man. It's shit weird as hell. Just go ahead and just lock it down, bro. Man, that's amazing. No, I got to be two-sided. I think she's scared to the shit. I mean, I think she's scared of the shit. I'm kind of nervous of the shit. What you nervous about? Nigga going backwards, doing the same shit over how, and over how's again. How's it going backwards? Not going backwards, but thinking perfect example. Okay, no. I don't want to hear that. What was the reason why y'all broke up? Oh, we broke up? That it was, it was like 70% me. Okay. And a lot of miscommunications and misunderstandings and shit. But I say seventy percent of me because I was the person. So I could talk about this shit. Don't sit up. I was. I dealt with depression all my fucking life, and I have trust issues. Okay. Still, and I have trust issues for a reason. Perfect example, the shit that you know about. The time I put in with certain motherfuckers and yeah, trust yeah, issues. Yeah, that yeah. shit would have. That shit would cause you to look at motherfuckers sideways. Okay. So I don't trust too much of shit. But I'm saying it's like seventy percent me, thirty percent her. Okay. What was her thirty percent? At thirty percent, it was communication. It was fucking communication and the motherfucker thinking that they running shit. Like I have a hard, I'm hard headed, and growing up the way I grew up, I was my own. You know what I'm saying? I put myself through school, not college, but I made myself go through school. I would put myself on punishment. It sounded weird as hell, but I didn't have no fucking parental guidance at all. So I was just out here. You know what I'm saying? So the motherfucker, that's like you. Like last week we did shit, you just looking. I said, man, fuck, let me go ahead and get off. Like I had pro- I, got, I might have a problem with authority. I ain't gonna front. I think I do. I really do. I do too. I really do. I hate for a motherfucker to say do so. And then, hell yeah, you do. Because I said something, man, you ain't got nobody. Hell no, I ain't got nobody. But your pops and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, but still, I don't know. That's some shit. Don't. See what I'm saying? <laughs> that's 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 the mentality, dog. That shit crazy. I just don't. But but you know what? That's I can honestly say that's she brought a lot of good into my life, and okay, I would never take that so away from Okay, so what's the problem? I don't know, dog. It was scared, man. I don't know. Even last year when I was I was shit. Even this year I've been single. But even last year, motherfuckers trying to take me out and shit. I just didn't want to deal with that shit. Then females jumping in my inbox to my some weed. This nigga. I don't say baby mama. I got kids, mothers. Who? Oh, I don't know. Well, look. Yeah, you, you do. But they was them females on some bullshit. They just wanted to ride my beard. 
I guess. That's yeah. probably why she wants you and don't want you back. Who? My daughter mama? Yep. Who said she didn't? Nigga? She probably do. You think so? Wouldn't be in, I don't know, dog. Life is just fucking weird, man. Well, I'm just cut off that, that last kind of, that last segment I was talking about. He want to get back with her, but this nigga on that bullshit. That nigga like the single life, but it's okay. I don't even do shit in single life. You see me. You follow me on Facebook. I'll be with my kids, and I'm trying to do this shit. Give a fuck about no goddamn other you gonna shit, You're going to go man. home. You're going to be like. This thing is stupid as hell. That's what you got to do. Just walk in the house and just go. And my daughter come out of nowhere. Just, just, hey. Just, just tell, <laughs> look, think just, about just, that just part. Tell, look, just tripping. tell Coco, go in the room real quick. I got to talk to mommy real oh, quick. Oh, God. And just go just like this. So what you going to do? But, dog, it's a whole, it ain't just that. It was a whole Do situation. the Ric Flair, nigga. Helicopter that motherfucker. Woo. Allegedly. Woo! We're going to be in trouble again. <laughs> I didn't say that word. We're going to be in trouble again. <laughs> But no, nah, dog, you know what? I kind of, I ran into this other female and me and her kind of hit it off. But I don't know, but she cool. She sweet as pie, though. Sweet as pie. I just don't like bringing nobody into my, into my shit. Then don't. My uncertainties. Just say, just, just, just keep it the way it is. No, like, I talk, man, I'm, she, she know what's up. She cool as hell. She watch faithfully. That's, that's, that's my dog. She's Oh, a, she watch it? Oh, man, my bad. She's a real friend. Uh, she's my, a real friend. I fuck with her heavy. You she know watch this? Are. Oh, faithfully. My, oh, my bad. She was mad about the last episode that popped up, and she couldn't fucking watch it and shit. Well, episode forty-five. I told you. The, 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 the legit. Like, hey, look, look, the legit lost episode. Yes, <laughs> stolen episode. That bitch ain't lost. They stole that motherfucker. It's on. Look, if I can't scrub it, I, 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 and actually, I think it's safe that we, that we leave it the way it is. Because if I scrub it and take out those words, and it wasn't that what that we got that it got removed, mm -hmm. we can because we got a warning. Mm -hmm. But the next one will be a first strike, three strikes, the count is banned. That's bullshit. So I I'm just gonna just say like let's fuck it. I'm gonna post the link to, to that to listen to it to right. listen right, to right, it. Right, you right, can right. listen to episode forty five on Anchor. And, I and think actually, pull that shit off and put it on the page, though. Copy the link and that's share. That's what it. I did. No, that's what I did. I'm going to do all that. So this is going to go on Anchor as well. Right. So this will be on there. Um, but I'm gonna. I got to go through all the other episodes and put them and get them all up. up and I got forty some motherfucking episodes. Okay, man. I don't even want to do that. I, mean, I really want to start over. No, you can't, bro. Man, that shit don't count. That shit do count. See, you about to get me to going. I ain't going to do man, it. Look, you got to look at it like this, man. Look, the Fresh Prince went on. They ain't start over. True. You kind of got better, too. You kind of got better. But you know what? I see... I don't give a fuck. I see the difference. I see the difference. And a lot of people, I didn't ask a couple questions and shit. Yeah. They like to change. Oh. I've, I've asked. He's like, yeah, I was doing it better. I said, damn. Sit down. I said, damn. So what was up with this? Then I said, damn. I'm like, hey, well, they peeped it, especially that last episode. Well, though, not up, not me and you. That last episode, bro. I told you something wasn't right. That's why I left y'all yeah. niggas alone. Yeah, no, it wasn't no problem though. It's just certain shit, man. You bro, know, I left, bro. I left you. I was like, let me close the door. These niggas got some animosity against me. Man, no animosity. You already know what's up, man. Look. And until and until then, my uncle told me to leave it alone. It is what it is. But if the, if my name is brought up. I'm gonna air that nigga the fuck out, and I ain't talk about shooting. I I just say just just yeah, I just need to just maybe I just need some downtime. You know, Ooh, I'm not fucking with him no more. Mm -hmm. Ain't no downtime. Somebody, oh man, y'all just mad. It ain't nothing to talk about. Ain't nothing to talk about. How long it's, have been friends? Who associates? Because friendship is motherfucking different when you think you got a friend, but you don't even motherfucking. How long have y'all known each other? Since '95. Okay. Y'all done known each other almost 30 years. 26. Damn that was in there. February of this year. So, mm, I just feel like... But just because you know a nigga, I said that shit on here before, just because you know a nigga don't mean you know a nigga. That's true, you but at the same but at the same time, you got to look at it like this. The older you get, mm -hmm. everyone thinks differently. Mm -hmm. I'm not, and this is not me to say, man, just let that nigga slide, you know what I'm saying? I let him slide. I didn't punch him in his shit. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. But I'm just saying, it's just certain things 
you just know the older you get, you got certain boundaries that you just don't want to be crossed. So, okay, let me ask you this. I'm not about to go into detail, but you know, you and a couple other motherfuckers know what the fuck is going on. Had that had to been you, what would you do? Especially the aftermath for the shit, and the shit is still going on. You wouldn't feel like a motherfucker tried to play you and play your motherfucking intelligence? Just, I want you, before you answer, think about the whole situation. Your kids, yada, yada, yada. And then that shit happened. So, okay, so if I have to think like that, for one, I legally can't do shit. Because if I do something and if I go to jail. Uh, you talking about that? Yeah. Okay. I can't. But do, I ain't talking about, okay, I'm not talking about no, not I can, being I physical. Can't, no, literally, I can't punch a nigga. I can't do shit. Yeah, you register. But I ain't talking about putting your hands on people. I'm no, saying, would, that's you, what, would you be that's, like, hey, this shit is worth fucking fixing? Or you just be like, man, fuck all this shit. I'm straight. It and just, that's where I'm at with it. Niggas. It just it just depends on it. I I look at it like this. It all depends on my. It depends on like how strong my friendship is. The shit ain't dog. And what the reason you? why and the reason why I say that is because like, you know, me and my best friend are R.I.P. Mm-hmm. I swear this shit was like a fucking movie, bro. My best friend, me and my best friend, we got into an argument about some hoes. I don't even know why. I don't mm. even remember what the argument was about. But I just said, you know what, bro? Instead of me fighting you, bro, I just feel like we just need to just chill. You know what right, I'm saying? I'm going to go do me. You go do you. And then once you chill out, we can get back up, link up, whatever. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Because right. I value I value the friendship. Right. I've known you since middle school. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I take that into accommodation. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, mind you, this is my best friend. We didn't fuck, fuck hoes together. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. I got so, you. So, uh, you know, I, I, I ended up moving out, out there with my mom. And a week later, I found a job. Mm-hmm. Got my shit together. Ended up going to Everest. Right. I shit you not, bro. While I was in school get doing my shit, you know, I kept up with him. The nigga didn't want to talk to me at all. The nigga just left. He just like... There was a female. He liked something? Nah, it was just, I don't know why we got, I don't remember the actual argument that, like, how me and him fell out. We didn't really fall out. It was just a big-ass disagreement that led to us arguing about some dumb shit. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just dead, bro. So, I was just like, um, you know, I literally just just left it alone. And I did my thing. You know, I checked in with him because, you know, he wasn't really good at it health-wise. Mm. So he had leukemia. So I just... Oh, knew. Yeah, shit. so I always checked in, but I always I always talked to his mom. Like, yeah, how you doing? You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. She'd be like, he doing good. You know what I'm saying? He's still mad. I guess because I was just like... Because I was like, well, fuck it. I guess he wants to fight. And I was just like, I'm not about to fight you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So... Hell no. I should you not. I'm on my way to school. I'm on my... And I caught the bus. Mind you, I did. I did an eighteen month program, and I fucking never missed a day. I caught the bu- caught the bus from fucking Shelby Township to the fucking Southfield. Damn. Every day. Smart bus. Yeah. That's a motherfucking hike. I mean, Them bus rides be peaceful as fuck on a smart bus. Fuck yeah. Them bitches be peaceful as hell. Fuck it's yeah. different from riding D dot to the to the point where I could fall asleep on that motherfucker. Oh, I fell asleep on that bitch and in you, high school. No, you know, you I don't know, know where you know, the fuck I was at. You know, you 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 know you ride the bus too much when you can get on the bus and you can fall asleep and you know exactly when to wake up <laughs> <laughs> to be like bing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, uh, like no, nah, look, literally, I get off the bus stop at Northland, mm-hmm. and this nigga is right there. That waiting on the bus too. That nigga was waiting on the bus. That's God. Well, that was God. I was like, "Yo, what up?" I guess he was like, "Damn, I ain't, I ain't even want to see this nigga." Like, mm-hmm. and I was just like, "What's up, bro?" He was like, "What's up, man?" You know, I was like, "What's what's been up? Like, how you been?" Right. You know, I said, "Well, I've been doing this, this, and that." You know, what I'm saying maybe you should come to school. You know, what I'm saying so you can do something that we can. You know, what I'm saying we're right. getting older and shit. It's like, all right, man, I'll catch up with you. So then, um, you know, I kept in touch with him. You know, I called him, literally was like, um, I was just finishing school. And I told him, I said, bro, look, I'm going to come through. We're going to play some Gears. Uh-huh. I'm going to come through and play some Gears with you. Because I know he's like, yeah, I'm not really feeling well, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. 
you know, normally he don't really, some days, you know, people got leukemia. Some days they good, some days right, they're right, not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, you never think like, okay, he about to die. You know, I never got that that vibe. Right. But I just, but that vibe that I got was like, different. Damn. Like, it was just like, how did he like, I was just trying to put the piece together. Like, how did this part, like, how, like, was that guy like telling me something? Like this guy telling me something? Like, yo, you need to you need to hang out with him and talk to him a little bit more. You know, get what that saying? shit out the way. You know what I'm saying? We amended that shit, mm -hmm. and it was like cool. And I said, bro, I just got this job, bro. It was my first IT job. I said, as soon as I get my phone, bro, I'm gonna give you a call. We are gonna go out. We are gonna we are gonna we are gonna hang out. Right, nigga. The day I got my phone, bro, I called a crib. He passed away the day before. Mm -hmm. So not only that. I was supposed to go play. I was getting my life together to go play, you know, to, to chill out with him. Right. Then he passed away. At the end of the day, I it I felt hurt because I was like, I finally amended the shit. We finally got dead to shit to get you mm -hmm. dead that shit and trying to move on. Right. But y'all did. At the end of the day, God put you in certain situations, dude. And a lot of people don't realize that shit. Bro, I look and at that time I was just like, yo. Like, I ain't, that's fucked up. I just lost somebody who really knew my ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be like, God damn. So, what I say to you is, you know, you got 26 years in this relationship. I mean, me personally, I mean, you you know him. You know how he is. Mm -hmm. You just have to take take him for what he is and just... But I've been, but I've been doing it. I hear everything you're saying, bro, I swear. But I've been doing that shit with motherfuckers for years. But see, you've been doing that shit with motherfuckers. Him too. But you but you got... Him too. If dog, you can't, it, it was you my... Can't, you can't treat people the same. I don't. But you just said you've been dealing with motherfuckers like him. Yeah, I've been dealing... No, not like him. I wouldn't deal with certain motherfuckers like the other nigga that, that end up popping up. They end up doing the shit. The other nigga. I got years in with him too. But it's like a bunch of my just just gotta think. You grew up where I grew up at. Yeah. Okay. You got you got your fucking it's the difference between friends and fucking associates. Right. It just so happened that the motherfuckers I grew up with, most of them were fucking associates. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I and I realized that shit as I got older, because motherfuckers sneak this and talking all types of shit. Oh, and no, acting do, weird. I don't do that. I don't hang around motherfuckers. If I felt if No, I, I know the shit now that we got oh, older. Yeah. I start I start peeping shit. You know, man, well, nigga, y'all used to be around a bunch of motherfuckers. And I hardly hang around them niggas. You see, and, and that's where I'm at. And where, and where, like I was and, just talking and, to my man. I just had to talk with one of my one of my big homies. And where they at? Who? That, that's what I'm saying. Any if you notice, I got a small ass circle. I don't even have no circle. I be with my kids. But I'm just saying. My and, circle. And and I'm happy that the shit played out the way it played out. Oh, yeah, no. Because yeah. once this shit starts, once, soon as motherfuckers be like, there you go, I don't have to fucking, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. All that shit is dead. I don't, I don't. Even with dog. I brought that nigga on. He didn't bring shit to shit. Okay, we ain't gonna go that far. But I'm just saying, it's just that. See, you almost, nigga. You gotta just, you <laughs> have to, you have to, you have to learn to be like, damn, is. You know, is it worth? Is it worth throwing twenty six years down the drain? It wasn't even dog. It wasn't even no motherfucking friendship. Ask, ask the question. Answer the question. Is it worth it? What? Now fucking with him? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's either that. I'm gonna have to punch him in his shit. Then if, if we you, can catch a fade, then it's all good. So if you so so. But so, he ain't gonna do that. But you and saying, that nigga ain't gonna. So what say, you saying is. You want to just fuck him up so y'all can be cool again? I won't. I will never be cool with the nigga again. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Ain't nobody excluded from that. I don't fuck with my motherfucking mother because I don't trust her. I, I feel like you're on sixty minutes. This is. I feel like this is on a therapy show. Hey, it's all good. Come on with it. <laughs> Shit, I don't mind doing this. You know me. I'm you just, know me I'm for just a saying, long time. I'm just saying, man. I, and I, I be mean, PG on this motherfucker, but you get to ask me some shit that I'm passionate about. You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm letting it out. No, I get it, but I'm just saying you just gotta. I just saying, me personally, man. I just analyzed the assessment. Like, has he always been that way towards you? But you paid the. But you know what? After thinking about all this shit, it's just the audacity of the situation for me. The gall. The gall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, out of all motherfuckers, nigga, I've always been that type of nigga to be like, there you go, man. I'm, I'm fucked up. Blah blah blah. Nigga ain't gotta ask me for shit. If I got that shit, this the way I was brought up. 
You know what I'm saying, nigga? If I got a plate full of motherfucking food, I'm not about to have you over there sitting in the corner just watching. I know niggas is like that. Bro. I don't do that kind. I've never them, been like that. Them the wrong people that you want to be around. Them the wrong people you want to be around. Niggas that kill you, you look at Pop Smoke. I'm just saying, them the wrong motherfuckers you want to be around when you up and they down. Like, for real. And I noticed that shit, dog. When I got that motherfucker truck, I rode through the, I rode through the jets when I got that truck. And I don't know, trying to show off shit, I'm looking for somebody. Nigga, oh man, I see you out here, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, you count my motherfucking pockets. Yeah, bro. You feel me? I was over here at this motherfucking, this box Chevy, and I had another car. That's why motherfuckers got to talk of shit, but I ain't never been the type to try to front on any fucking body. Nigga, I took care of that motherfucker. I took care of Stout Park after Big Bro stopped fucking with it. I mean, well, I started nets, basketballs. I was bringing water. I've never shitted on nobody. So all that animosity toward all that animosity and niggas feel they niggas feel like they better. How? Why are you mad at me? Because I'd like to wash my ass. Yeah. What fuck lot, are you talking about? A lot, a lot of like let uh, let people what tell the fuck? It, let people tell it, bro. In people's eyes, they think that I'm rich. Niggas, just, the nigga, don't I, listen, bro. Before I came here, I was in Brightmo. One of the niggas. I I have I had this conversation with you a couple months ago during the summertime bro, when my man father passed. Bro, niggas I, really think niggas really think that I'm rich, bro. I mean, look, look. This is this is this is this is years of collecting. Th- okay, and that's fine. I'm not saying you're rich, but I'm not rich. I'm going to guesstimate. I didn't say you were rich. rich. This is this is probably over twenty thousand dollars worth of shoes. Ah, uh, no. You don't want to talk about that one? I don't think so. You don't think it's $20,000 worth of shoes? I, I don't. Would you think, like, just regular retail? Yeah. Nah. When I get to the house, I'm going to calculate my shit. And you got way more. I think my shoes, probably this one section right here, because I didn't gave away a lot of shoes. Not this section. This one, that one spot over there. And I'm going to calculate my shit. That's not 20 racks. Shit. It's not. How many pair of Jordans you got in here? We, we not. This is not about You don't want to talk about it. Exactly. It's nigga. bigger than Nino Brown, <laughs> baby. This <laughs> big business. Big business. I'm just saying. It's just, no, I just, I just like to just look nice because I couldn't have the shit when I was done. Exactly. Like this shit right here, man. I wasn't getting this shit. But fuck guess that. who had it, though? I wear this shit. I don't give a fuck. Like the motherfucking Barclays I got. My daddy had them bitches. I didn't get them. Like my my kids gonna be a representation of me, man. You see, I don't give a fuck. I get I put on some clothes every blue moon. I'm sending my kids to school with buffs. Hey, I'm not doing that. No, they no. said I sent Dakota with a I'm, fucking I'm, with her. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him some fake buffs and I'm just have to go to school like yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with fake buffs. My my dad. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like yeah, my daddy let me wear them. So be on the safe side. But I sent Dakota with her, um, like I said, it was Spirit Week and shit. So yeah, same. Got her earrings in. That's why she was like JoJo C Y. I'm like, I, 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 that's all I like. I heard of it. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, yeah, Put too. her chain on, a little bracelet. The teacher was like, uh, it's, well, she almost lost the earring. It fell out the other day. She's like, is her earrings real? And I'm like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, she got paranoid and shit. Like I, I stopped sending her to school with them bitches on for a couple of days. I'm like, man, fuck that. I work for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, they real. I'm not about to put no fucking uh, beauty supply store shits on my kids' ear. That's how I was going to school. I was just lucky my skin wasn't sensitive. If it was, nigga, my ear would have been green as shit. I, I, I don't have that problem. What? I, I don't have my ear pierced, so I don't. Oh. I, I thought I was mace. You couldn't tell me shit. That's why I got both of my ears pierced. Couldn't tell me a motherfucking thing. Thought I was mace. <laughs> Puff Daddy and them. All right, man. Let's wrap it up. All right. Uh, people, once again, thanks for tuning in to episode 45.5 slash 46. You can check out episode 45 on um, Anchor. Anchor. We'll post the link in the uh, description so you can so you can listen to um, episode 45. Episode 46 will be on Anchor as well. Yeah. So... From here on out, just know that we try. We are, we are, we, are, we are attacking all motherfucking platforms. Yeah, we just he got- tired of working. I'm tired of working. 
this gonna be my shit. He also does pictures too. So you know Prime and all that other shit is coming out. You better book now because this nigga hot. Yeah, You're welcome. I, yeah, I got weddings. Oh, and Christmas coming up too. And for you greedy motherfuckers that like take pictures around Thanksgiving, around leaves and for fall and shit, you better book them. You're welcome. Oh, sit back up. And that wasn't no poop. That was a chair. Um, I forgot. Uh, I am D. Ronte Jenkins. I'm D. Dog. You can find me on the social sites. If you follow me on Facebook, I say all types of wild shit on Facebook. Snapchat, eh. Don't follow me on Facebook. Just Instagram and Twitter. And TikTok. Yeah. Don't follow him on TikTok either because that he with the shits. What, man? Follow me on TikTok, man. I'm friendly, bro. Just don't be trying to come at me like that, bro. And I won't... Yeah, we both friendly. We, you, you know, kid and play. I, I'm just... That's what my side calls me, kid and play. <laughs> I got Hell it. no. I got the hair, too. Hell no. Man, so we appreciate y'all tuning in and all that good shit. Um... Like I said, everything will be up. You follow him, follow me. Um, subscribe. Yeah, hit the fucking subscribe button. Please, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button, too. Hit the like. Well, before you hit the like button, hit the fucking subscribe button. Comment on the shit. We interact with y'all. Trust me, I really will. I'm with all the shit. As long as you're respectful. If you've been disrespectful, then you're going to get the same fucking energy. Just going to go tail and all the other weak-ass shits. These new motherfuckers doing. Nah, fuck that. I'm I'm hoeing your ass. Oh yeah. You come on my channel trying to hold me. I'm yeah. I'm hoeing your. Oh, ass. Oh, you ain't gonna be able to hold nothing. And you probably can get down on me this week because my beard is fucked. I need to line it up here. Yeah, it's all good. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you guys. I would say next week, but we've been shooting like a motherfucker. So that's what happens when you play the when you switch. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet because you get shit done. You, you know what? Fuck all that. Hey, listen. Hey, look. We out of here, all right? Peace. <laughs> we got, we got, not doing that. <laughs> not doing oh, that. wait. Don't push the button yet. Did you push it? No. This episode was brought to you by our These sponsor. Nuts. Oh, my God. Our sponsors, Pour Into You Cups. Check her out uh, online, Pour Into You Cups. Well, PourIntoYou.com. Good person. And somebody else. Oh, and Candy Joes. Fuck with them if you're in the city. All right, we out. All right. Bye.